wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So, I just finished the series finale for Stargirl. And I just want to say that it's it's bittersweet um, because even though it's the ed, the last episode, that's the, the bitter part. It was such a good episode, you guys. Like, it was a really good send off for this show. Like, I really enjoyed it a lot. Like, the fight sequence at the be at the beginning was so good. It was ridiculous. Like, I mean, listen. Was it movie quality good? No, but for a TV show, it was good. It was like, like I'm talking, like, you know, you ever watched Smallville back in the day? Like, it was better than those fight sequences. Like, I'm sorry. Like, if you look, if you remember back to like, you remember when they did Doomsday on Smallville and it was so, it was like a two second fight. This was like, they put the money into this episode. I was quite happy with it. Um, yeah, and I want to get into a whole bunch of stuff and everything. Um, I also want to talk about the ending, um, just because, uh, you know, Jeff Johns did an interview and he talked about that uh, because um, um, uh, 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 Breck Basinger, she did a an interview before that and talked about the ending and everything. And I want to talk about all that stuff. Um, yeah, I want to get into this breakdown and everything, but... It was just so good. Yeah, it was so good, you guys. I like, I just, you know, and I'm like, it's, and I'm so bummed that it's done. Like, there's like so many things they could do. And I'm like, oh, it would be so great. I just, I just, um, I'm like, oh, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, I do have some, like one, one like negative, well, some negatives about the, this episode, but it wasn't like, you know, enough for me to dislike this episode. Like I would never like, yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to get into this breakdown now, but before I get into the breakdown, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine, we always get shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. So now that I got that out of the way, let's do this, suckers. All right, so it starts off with nine months ago, right? And we go to the grave of Sylvester Pemberton. Um, and there we get uh, Icicle and uh, uh, Dragon Lord, Dragon King, Dragon King, right? Okay. And so they're in this little this little hideout and everything, and they they wake him up. Uh, he shoots some green stuff into him, and they're like, "Hello, Sylvester. We're gonna we're gonna turn you into President Sylvester, but you're gonna Pemberton, but you're gonna do what we say and everything." And they're like. Like, we're going to put your brain into Ultra Humanite's body, and then I'm going to put my brain into Ultra Humanite's body, into this uh, the gorilla body, and uh, didn't because I want to be the best form ever. And I'm all like, is that really the best form? But, you know, whatever. It's fine. So then he's like, no, don't do this. Where's where's uh, Stripe C and everything? And he's like, ah. And then he wakes up, and this he's at the graves, uh, grave of Pat. You remember Pat was buried last episode. Spoiler, he doesn't die. Yay! Okay. So then back at Courtney's house, the Whitmer house, is it Whitmer? No, Courtney. Yeah, Whitmer. Yeah, Courtney Whitmer, right? Shoot. I don't know. Back at Stargirl's house, um, they're all like, why would Sylvester tell us all this stuff? He told me to take out the thing from the hourglass. He told me about that I didn't deserve the staff. He told me to get rid of my parents to protect them. Uh, she's all like, he told me to, to not lay off of Cindy, Lou Who. And, uh, and she's like, why would he give you guys such bad advice? And they're like, to keep us distracted. Dun, dun, dun. So then back at uh, Icicle Jr.'s house, the Kens, the Kens, um, the Daddy McKen, Icicle, he's all like, uh, hey, I got to tell you something. Uh, something bad happened. Ultra Humanite killed Pat. And then she's he's all she's all like, tonight, our enemies died tonight. And I'm all like, uh, uh this lady is annoying because she is not reformed like at all. She did not like, we you know, that like two episodes ago when she was all like, <laughs> and everything and like, I forgive you and everything. And then, but no, she was lying, She's straight up lying. Don't worry, she gets her just desserts, and they are not good. Uh, those desserts were bad. Um, so then they're all like, can't get a hold of Pat or some crap like that. And she gets a call from, uh, his name is not Connor. I called him Connor last time. His name is not Connor, but Icicle Jr. 
And he's all like, meet us at the junkyard. And I'm all like, this sounds weird. If I was her, I'd be like, uh, not interested. Uh, I'll say it again. I'm not interested. Anyways, so he's like, good job, my son. So Pat is, I know I'm going through this, 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 uh, this kind of fast, but I just want to talk about like the ending and the, the fight sequence and all that good stuff. So, and all this stuff is like a buildup because you're just all like, yeah, they're just edging us right now. Anyways, Pat escapes from his grave. And I was like, yay. Cause if Pat had died, I'd been pissed. Uh, cause he's my favorite character. Pat's my favorite character on the show. He's like, ah, and I'm all like, I don't know how you escape from that. And he explains later on, and I'll just do it right now. He explains that their first villain that he did with JSA kidnapped him and buried him alive. And he, he was taught to dislocate his thumb so he could get out of the wrappings and then dig himself out. But I'm all like, I feel like it's not that easy. Like, have you ever seen people get buried, um, on the beach? like in sand and stuff. Well, cause that's what's on the beach. Duh. Um, and then they're all like, ah, oh, crap. Uh, sorry. I messed something up. Uh, and then they're all like, uh, um, they can't get out. Like they can't move. I'm all like, wouldn't dirt be the same way? Like, I don't get that whole scenario, but then again, I've never been buried alive. Thank goodness. Um, and I hope I never find out what it's like anyways. So then back in town, these little hookers escape from, that little lab that they were in because they found dragon. Uh, well, they, he wished them there to the dragon keep, you know, and they find out that they're in the um, that they're at the the tire company. And uh, Blue Valley tires. And so they're like, oh, man, and everything. So then these guys go to the junkyard and they're ready to rumble. Like, it's like, just keep it cool, boy <laughs> and everything. And uh, they've come. And they are ready to throw down. And you've got like the icicles. Like there's three icicles here or four icicles here. And then just Sylvester. And I'm like, eh, oh, whatever. It's fine. It's cool. It's going to be a good fight. She's like, where's Pat? And he's like, Pat's dead. He went into the woods and the ultra humanite killed him. And she's like, what? And then uh, I don't remember what he says. Like, sorry, Courtney. And then Pat shows up in, in, <laughs> in Stripe. And he's all like, don't believe him, Courtney. That's not Sylvester. That's ultra humanite. And he's all like, you got to be kidding me. Uh, can't you just stay dead kind of thing? I don't remember this actor's name, but he's doing a very good job. I enjoy him very much as Star-Lord. I enjoy Star-Lord very much. I've actually thought about uh, making a cosplay of it and everything, or at least just buying one because I don't know how to sew. Anyways, so then um, that's a lie. I know how to sew a little bit. Anyways. She's like, oh, crap, it's got to go down. And Sylvester attacks uh, Stripe the, uh, and Pat. So these guys are like, what are we going to do and everything? And then Ultra Humanite slash Dragon King, he busts through this thing. I don't like that it's not Ultra Humanite, but it's like, fine, whatever. He's like, come with me, daughter, so we can like hang out and stuff. And I'm all like, and she's all like, oh, daddy, you want to see what you created? And I'm all like, oh, her arm went full snake mode. So then these guys are fighting and Sylvester is clearly winning because he has the staff and the staff is all cosmic -y, and he's just got, you know, a, you know, a, you know, a repurposed vehicle. Um, and so they're fighting. It's very cool. Sorry, it's hard to get screen grabs of this fight uh, because it's all action. -y. One thing I didn't grab that I wish I had was Wildcat when she's she's like running on top of cars and like sliding through stuff. It's very, very cool. So then the, they're all fighty, fighty, fighty. And then the, she goes into, uh, you know, warrior mode in her little goggles, which I'm like, I don't understand how that whole technology works. Like all of a sudden you can fight because goggles anyways. And she's like, I really don't want to fight you, old man river. And he's like, good. I do not want to fight you either. Uh, so he's all like, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to kill you now, Pat, for real though. Not going to bury you or you can escape. And, she, uh, and she's, he's like, good. I do not want to fight you either. And then uh, his wife's like, what are you doing? Our enemies are going to pay now and everything. And she, she's ready to do the blasty blast. And Wildcat comes behind her. And she, the, the, the old lady, old, old, old lady, uh, 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 bitch face is all like, sure. And she hits this car above them. And then she's all, and then she's all like, uh, she's like, ah, and I'm all like, moo, bitch. And, uh, it smushes her. And then she's got this whole, uh, Wicked Witch of the West thing going on or East and a bang to the East and a bang to the West. Anyways. Okay. So ultra humanite slash dragon King is fighting Cindy and Cindy's starting to lose because you know. Uh, she would. Um, and he's like, you got to make a wish. You've got to be precise and you've got to be accurate or whatever and all that stuff. 
He's like, and I, he's, and he goes, I wish the most beautiful woman in the world, her dad would not be able to harm her again and everything. And he's like, how would you, who, who's to determine who the most beautiful woman in the world is? And he's like, I am it. I made the wish and everything. And so then Thunderbolt comes out of the thing. He's like, oh, wish is granted and everything. So he takes off the human and turns him into a stuffed animal uh, or a dragon king. And I was like, uh, eh. I was like, that's fine. It's not as cool as it could be, but whatever. So then he's about to uh, take down Stripe or Pat and he pulls him out of the thing and then they're all fighty fighty. Uh, and then, uh, oh, he uh, um, he gets shot with an arrow by uh, Mama, Mama Bear. And she's like, you can do this court. And she's like, but the staff and she's like, she, he only can use it because you, uh, you know, told him he could. It was for him or some crap like that. And she's all like. The staff power down staff, and then they start fighting with the staff, and they start like battling back and forth with it. It's very cool. Um, until she gets the staff, Pat's all hurty hurt, and then um, so then uh, she's all like, uh, Icicle tries to come in, and he she blasts him in the face, and he's like, he's like, he's like, uh, son, are you gonna do what you have to do? And he's like, it's because if you don't, I will, kind of thing. And then he's all like, uh, ah. Oh! And he blasts him in the thing, and then it goes towards him, and he and he bursts into this big cloud of of ice dust. Yeah. Anyways, it was very cool. At first, I thought he killed him, and he was all like an ice dusty thing, and I was like, ah, oh, that's crazy. I don't like it, but whatever. But it's not what happened. Um. So then she's like, uh. And then um. So they save the day, and this guy and his he's like he's like I'm gonna he's like he's like no I'm gonna take my grandpa and we're gonna get out of here. Uh, because we're alive. My grandma's dead. My dad's in flight mode and everything. I'm like, good for you, kid. Get away from this toxic town. So then uh, the staff goes back into the box because she's like, you can go into that special thing that Ultra Humanite made for you, that special case if you want to. And he goes back into the crate and he's like, yeah, Cosmo is back. And I was like, come on, guys. Don't write stupid lines. That's stupid. There's a lot of dumb lines after this. Like the fight sequence at the beginning was like so awesome. It's like the first like 20 minutes. And then after that, it gets really sappy, but it's fine. It's like not bad. It's just some of the stuff is I'm like, I'm like, uh, wah, 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 everything. So then they sit down and he tells her about breaking his thumbs and getting out of the the pit and then she tells him she's like you know i heard what sylvester said to you and it was wrong and he's like i heard what you said to sylvester and i really appreciate that kind of thing so then um hank hank uh whatever our man he goes to best parents because remember last episode or the episode before that he was really mean to him and told him like back off and everything so he's like listen i was i was a jerk to you guys and i'm sorry about that that was wrong with me and they're like, oh, it's okay. And he's like, Beth, it's your turn. And she's like, I pushed you guys away and I shouldn't have done that. I should have let you guys help me. And they're like, so we're your, she's like, they're like, it's okay. So we're now your sidekicks. And she's like, mm, I wouldn't, she called sidekicks derogatory. And I was like, I don't know. It... Is sidekicks now a bad word? <laughs> like it's so, uh, things are so dumb these days. Anyways, sidekick is not a bad word. Uh, but for her parents, it is because they are I, I don't like them. But anyways, it's fine. So then they're looking at the body of Star, uh, Starman and he's bra- ultra humanite is brain dead, but the body is still good. And they're like, we're going to keep him alive. Dr. McKnight is there. They're like, we're going to keep him alive because the body is fine. Uh, ultra humanite's brain is dead. But Pat or um, uh, Sylvester's brain could be out there. And we go to this little mountain cave, uh, this mountain range or whatever, and his brain is still good to go. And it keeps repeating the last thing that he said, like, where's Pat? Uh, you know, uh, ah, and everything. And then we go back to uh, Richie Rock Steiner, and Mike is going in. He's like, he's like, if you need me, just let me, we'll stay here and wait for you kind of thing. And he goes in and he meets his mom. And I don't remember what they say here, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, so then Courtney goes to this house and this is, oh, they got a ring doorbell. See, that's a ring doorbell. I have one of those. I have the newer version though. Um, and she's like, uh, hi. Uh, she's like, who are you? She's like, who are you? And she's like, Courtney. Or she's like, are you Beth or whatever? Betsy, whatever her name is. She's like, I'm Courtney. I knew your dad. And she's like, what? And everything. So then um, this part I thought was weird because when she says goodbye to him, she's like hanging out at the diner door. Like She's all like hanging on it like it's her house. And I'm like, what are you doing, you freaking weirdo? Uh, but whatever. 
And why aren't you coming out to the car to say hi to them? It's so weird. And he's like, he's like, yeah, no, it was good. It seems like she's got her life together and everything. And I'm all like, yeah. And then he calls, uh, what is the mom's name? Her name is Amy Smart, right? The actress, but her name is what? Mama star girl. Anyways, yeah, he's like, thanks, mom. And then she like gets all like, oh, he called me mom and everything. So then she's all like, your dad wanted you to have this letter because he wanted you to know that he didn't forget about you. Uh, it's just, you know, he was murdered by an icicle man and a big giant ape gorilla thing. And so she hugs her and she's like, bye. And I'm all like, oh man, you guys could have got a better actress. This girl's not very good. And then Courtney turns around and when she turns around, she goes to grab where her locket was. And she's, you know, and I'm all like, oh yeah, yeah. Cause remember season one, she used to do that after everything. She used to grab her locket. Um, and <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> And Jeff John said that he meant to have that in there because he wanted this. He said this scene was important because they wanted to make it to where, you know, Courtney understood kind of thing. But he wanted to to make sure that uh, they had the scene in there. I can't remember all what he said. So he goes to visit the grave of Solomon Grundy. He's like, it's so weird. Everybody else is, is their family's coming back to life. It's, you know, Sylvester and all that stuff. But not you, buddy. And then an arm busts out and he's like, huh. And I'm like, oh, this wasn't very good acting on this kid's part, but whatever. And then these two are chasing after the dog who has that stuffed animal. And she's like, having fun, daddy. And I'm all like, eh, that's a weird line, too. And then they're, they're these, the parents are talking about how they have um, a new, they have sidekick names. I can't remember what the dad's is. He's like Lamplighter or something like that. It's not Lamplighter. And then hers is like Hootie after the owl. And I'm all like, oh, get the hell out of these parents are lame. Anyways, she calls her mom and she's like, uh, mom. You know, everybody's telling their parents the truth and it seems to be bringing this together. Maybe it could work for us because I did lie to you. And then she's like, where's Courtney? And Courtney's over at the mansion and it starts to snow and there's, uh, what is his name? I can't remember. He's like, can you really help me? And I'm all like, what is that? What? what? And they hug. And then uh, that's the end of that. And then we go to three months later in Copenhagen, Denmark, where we see Icicle. And he's walking the streets and he gets a little, you know, kind of thing i don't remember why he keeps walking forward and he steps in this goo this uterine goo lob right here and there's artemis and she's like that's you know petroleum jelly mixed with you know all this other stuff and she's like my dad used to put in his hockey pucks and it, it's very flammable even on water and she lights him ablaze and he tries to turn into icicle but it just uh um it like he lights on fire and she's like try cutting back from that uh icicle or whatever so then it's like 10 years from now, and we're in this museum that was the JSA headquarters from before, the Brownstone, and Shade is giving a tour to these people, and he's talking about how Star Girl became Star Woman, and I'm like, oh, whatever, and then how they added all these other members, plus all the members that were on before, uh, Hank and Beth are going to get married, and he's going to proceed over it, uh, I'm trying to remember, uh, oh, Dragon Queen, she's on there. Um, there's Jakeem. This is a very famous like comic book um, cover. Not very famous, but it's a comic book cover. Anyways, um, and they talk. I can't remember what else he talks about. Oh, how all the people they defeated or whatnot. Um, that shows all these uh, artifacts. Uh, they do they stop Dr. Weird, which I uh, with the the uh, seven um, servants of seven or whatever. Oh, what were they called? I can't remember. I did a video where I thought um, season two would be like a murder mystery. You can check it out up here. And that's kind of what season three was. So I just want to say I was kind of right. But I said it was the seven people, whatever, they, the justice the servants of seven or whatever. I don't remember. The guy, the Excalibur wielding guy from before. This is his sword. They helped him out with Dr. Weird. And I said, uh, you know, it could be the Dr. Weird guy. Maybe he died and then they started killing off all those members. Anyways, I, you go watch the video. I kind of feel like I was a tiny bit right. Just a tiny bit. Anyways. And uh, he's like, they they helped out everything. They're true, great heroes kind of thing. And then all of a sudden, this big red flash comes. And he's like, oh, and everything. And opens up a portal. And in one, here's Jay Garrick. And he's like, he's like, you're on the table. He's like, Jay Garrick, what are you doing here? And he's like, he's like, I need the Justice Society's help. He's like, he's like, our adventures are not over. They've just begun. And then it ends. And it says, Star Girl, boom, never end. And I'm like, and then that's where it ends. Okay, so I just want to say, in terms of the things that I didn't like, some of the lines were corny, especially like with best parents was very corny. And then, um, but the fight sequences were very good. And then my biggest 
complaint. It, um, Jeff Johns. Okay, so let me just say one more thing real quick. So Jeff Johns said that in an interview after this was done, that there was because uh, okay, ooh, Breck ba Basinger said in an interview before this, she said that the that the um uh, um I just like okay, the ending. I didn't like the very ending. And Brock Basinger said that she, well, oh, I'm trying to gather my thoughts here. Brock Basinger did an interview and she said that they did the ending and they filmed, uh, or they, they had like something to tie into a season four. And she was like, it was, uh, like mind blowing or whatever. I can't remember her exact word use. I did a video on it. You can check it out anyways. And so me, I was all like, what could they have done differently? And then I read an interview with Jeff Johns and he said it was just a line that they wrote. And I was like, what? Get out of here with that. Um, and, and he's like, hopefully it'll, it'll get out there sooner or later because, you know, this day and age. And the only thing that disappointed me about the very last scene with the shade and the museum and everything was he kept talking about all this stuff and me, and it's it's true for everything. Show, don't tell. Don't tell me what they did. Show it. And you can do, I mean, I don't know how they could have done it like in a cheap way, but I, I just wish they would have shown it and not told me because I was like, mm, I mean, like, it's fine. But, you know, you mentioned some really cool stuff. Like, they, I think they mentioned like a, a nuclear man or whatever. I can't remember what he said, but I'm like, that sounds cool. But so <laughs> I can't see it. What am I going to do with this kind of thing? But the show is really, really good. I really enjoyed it. This episode was fantastic. I can't believe it's over. I'm super bummed about it. Um, I mean, granted, I understand why it's over because, you know, it, it got canceled. But uh, I hope that I hope that they do. I hope that they think like the what is it? The next star people. I hope they really do think about maybe doing a. Um, a uh, uh, what's it called? A movie like a TV movie. Because it would really be nice to see, like, maybe see these characters grown up, you know, and fighting the good fight against whoever with the Jay Garrick flash and everything. I, I think it would, I don't know, man, yeah, it would be fun, but I understand if they don't, um, if they don't do it, whatever. But I just would like to, um, I would just like to see it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, 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 I really do like this show. I'm going to do a series, a season slash series uh, review um to wrap up this and everything but i really did did enjoy this show and i'm i'm really sad that it's gone now i really am it's it's gonna be a bummer not having this on you know uh week to week and slash every six months or whatever it takes to film it and stuff um yeah all right you guys i'm gonna wrap this up now but tell me what did you guys think about this episode if you didn't like it you're crazy you're just crazy bones you're crazy 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 but if you didn't like it i get it like i understand you've got your own opinion on stuff but tell me what you did think about it did you like it did you not like it um you know what was your favorite part it was that fight sequence at the beginning there's no way you couldn't you couldn't love that um but uh who's your favorite character tell me everything go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below if you like this video go and hit that like button you know i won't mind if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button i'd greatly appreciate it and i will see you guys um on my next video you guys have a good day bye